Hi everyone, in this video we're taking a look at how to master the art of brewing tea. If you're interested in premium tea, make sure to subscribe to our channel for new videos like this one each week. One of the most enjoyable and unique aspects of tea is the ability to control its flavor based on your brewing technique. This added layer of input separates tea from most other artisanal products like chocolate and wine. And learning to control your infusions can be a very rewarding experience. When it comes to tea, there are several factors that will affect its flavor. These include the quality of your tea leaves, the quality of the water, and the style material of your teaware and more. Investing in better leaves, better water, and better teaware will improve the taste of your tea. And we have separate videos that explore each of these topics if you're curious. For the brewing process itself, there are just three elements that control how your tea tastes. These are brew ratio, water temperature, and infusion time. Each of these elements influence each other, and learning to balance them will help you achieve a perfectly brewed cup of tea every time. In general, increasing one of these elements will require you to decrease at least one of the others to maintain a balanced taste. The first factor is the amount of tea leaves you use, or more accurately, the brewing ratio, which refers to the amount of tea leaves per volume of water. This can be measured by using our digital tea scale. For example, if you use five grams of tea in a five ounce teapot, you have a higher brewing ratio of one gram of tea per ounce of water. If you use the same five grams of tea in a larger 20 ounce teapot, you now have a lower brewing ratio of one gram of tea per four ounces of water. Higher brewing ratios are more concentrated, so the tea doesn't need to be brewed as long or as hot. Lower ratios are more diluted, so you need to brew the tea longer or hotter to compensate. However, as we'll see in a moment, more concentrated brewing ratios usually produce better taste because they allow for lower water temperatures and shorter brewing times while maintaining a richer flavor. This is why Traditional East Asian teapots are usually quite small. For most tea styles, we recommend a brewing ratio around one gram of tea per ounce of water volume. And you notice that we include a ratio like this on our packaging as part of our brewing recommendations. The second factor is water temperature, which has a dramatic influence on a tea's taste and can be controlled with a temperature control kettle like our Stag EKGs. In general, tea brew at a higher temperature will be more robust at the risk of becoming astringent, while lower water temperatures produce more sweetness and a rounder texture, but may not be as robust. Contrary to popular practice, boiling water is usually too hot for most tea styles. The final element is infusion time, which is how long you let your tea brew before separating the leaves from the water to stop the infusion either by removing the leaves or decanting the tea. Infusion time can be measured with a timer, like the one built into our Stag EKG kettles. Shorter infusions produce a thinner, more crisp taste, while longer infusions produce a fuller taste at the risk of bitterness. Here in the West, we often brew our teas for five minutes or more, which is generally too long for most tea styles, since it extracts more bitterness. However, we also find that the flash infusion technique traditionally used in China is often too fast, producing a less complex flavor profile. Although there are exceptions, we typically aim for a brew time around two to three minutes for most tea styles, which gives time for more complex flavor extraction while limiting bitterness. Ultimately, brewing tea well is all about balancing these three factors to achieve a well-rounded and complex flavor profile. As a starting point, we provide brewing recommendations for all of our teas, including a suggested brewing ratio, water temperature, and infusion time. However, taste is subjective, and the best way to improve your skill at brewing tea is to experiment and find what works best for you. To learn more about premium tea, visit redblossomtea.com. Make sure you leave a like and comment below if you found this video helpful, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on future videos.